Hello and a very warm welcome back to the channel guys for another edition of Soundship. Here we are again guys. Today's episode is going to be featured all around an efficient steel pipes build. Been working on this one for a few days now. It's one a lot of people seem to be requesting. It is one of the more complicated items to create in the game because of the steel setup involved. So we've gone ahead and played around with a few different ideas and we hope it's something that you really like and you'll want to copy and put on your Soundship itself. So with the introductions out of the way, let's get straight into our sandbox building as we always do and start showing you how to make this build. So we're going to begin on this left hand side here to place down our first synthesizer. Now we know to make the steel we're going to need both carbon and iron synthesizers down here which is part of the reason of the added complexity. So we've got our synthesizer down, four up from the bottom, and we've placed a fast splitter down in order to add some more lines of production here. We're then going to place a regular splitter down and two heaters, followed by two mixers that are going to form the basis of our steel production. Now on this other line here, we're going to add a bit of space using the regular belt and also add in a heater before splitting again, like so, and adding two more mixers down really important to have a nice supply of mixers here and lots of steel production otherwise we're not going to get any sort of decent output of steel pipes so with the first half of the steel production placed down we're then going to work on the other side which is the iron production we're going to place down our synthesizer here another fast splitter and two heaters and we're going to do exactly the same on this bottom couple of mixers as well synthesizer followed by fast splitter and heater. Now we can see the steel going to be made directly out of this mixer. We're going to just drag the belt slightly further along, place down a press and then take the pressed steel plates directly from the press with the grabber into this mechanical assembler, selecting the correct recipe. And we're going to use a fast long grabber here to take out the finalized product into this exporter. Now as well as that we're going to use this exporter to export this finalized steel production on this bottom half as well. Again exactly the same process. Grabber taking directly from the press into the mechanical assembler and using a regular grabber to take it out. Don't need to use a fast grabber there. There won't be enough output and save yourself some expense. Now as for this top one here we're going to go the other way. Place down our press. Add another section of belt. Followed by a fast grabber into the mechanical assembler and again using a regular grabber to export the finalized steel pipes. Now we do have a little bit of room to play with behind these two synthesizers here so what we're going to do is put some fast long grabbers down on the carbon synthesizer and we're going to ship this onto the other side using the underground belts. Place another heater down followed by another mixer And in order to get the carbon onto the other side, we're going to use a fast grabber from this synthesizer, put it all the way around like so, putting a heater just before, and we're going to add another fast grabber from this synthesizer as well. So there's a nice flow of iron production. Now on the end of this mixer, we're going to take it round slightly, put our press down, another fast grabber into the mechanical assembler, and we're going to place down another normal grabber and export this steel pipe as well. Now, as you can see, we're really maximizing the space here, putting down lots of mixes, lots of steel pipe production. That is the key to getting a high output with this one. So that just about concludes the bottom section of this design. We've used three synthesizers already, so we've only got two left. We can still get a lot of output out of this with the amount of space that we've got left. So again, we're going to start on this left hand side place down another synthesizer straight into the normal splitter this time no need for the fast splitter and we're going to come round with this belt here straight into the heater we're going to join that up to the one that we've already placed previously it's going to add to the steel plate production there and for this other row we're going to bring this out once place another splitter down two heaters and two more mixers Now coming over to the other side we still need to set up our iron production so we're placing down our final synthesizer, placing down a fast splitter this time, connecting to another splitter and some heaters. And with this bottom row we're going to belt it round using some regular belt and 
heat that up before it goes into the mixer again changing this left hand side to carbon left hand side is carbon guys right hand side is iron nice and simple now in terms of exporting more of this steel we're going to put a press right at the top here put down a similar setup as we have done with our other steel pipes export that like so and for this middle one what we're going to do is place a press down followed by an underground belt and then we're going to use another grabber to increase the productivity of the already placed down mechanical assembler so we don't need to spend any extra money placing down another assembler now again we still have a bit of room to play with on these top two corners so in order to squeeze out a bit more of production we're going to put a fast grabber down here taking more carbon out of the synthesizer putting another underground belt trying to keep the underground belts as short as possible so we don't compromise on the production rates bringing the belt round into another heater another mixer and in order to get the carbon supply to this mixer I'm going to place a fast grabber here directly into the heater and connect that up to the mixer but we can also get another fast grabber placed from the existing synthesizer and belt that round to the heater to add a bit more carbon supply now in terms of output for this steel pipe we're going to get the steel plates and again connect them up to the already placed down mechanical assembler to increase the productivity on that one as well and as we can see here this is the final design guys i'm going to turn this on and check out the production rate as you can see here guys 2.32 steel pipes per second a fantastic output to have in a single micro factory now with it being one of the more complex materials to craft getting anything to this sort of level is a really good achievement so congrats if you've already got something around this output but for those that are struggling feel free to copy this design and add it into your sand ship we hope this sorts out all of your steel pipe issues now let's take a quick look at the price of this one on the blueprint 79k we're looking at here guys not a great amount here the production has only dropped because of the issues with the underground belts uh, we can connect those up once we place them into our micro factory so that won't be an issue but in terms of material expense not too shabby really guys gearboxes again 1650 gearboxes shouldn't be an issue if you're already at level 15 but everything else pretty rudimentary we're going to call this one pipe dream let us know your suggestions if you have any better ones than us but for now let's get this into our micro factory and start producing our steel pipes so here we are guys we've placed it into our micro factory so we turn it on guys and as you can see 2.32 steel pipes being produced per second you can see on our transit there that the steel pipes are filling up nicely not a great amount of substance expense for this one as well which is a bit of a bonus due to the moderately low output that about covers this one guys we do hope this design has helped you out we'll be back with more sunship content next time but until then thanks for watching and bye bye